Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. I did 17 years, homie. Real tears on these words, homie. He can stay baloney, push ups, and hella top rhyme and hella notebooks with all my rhymes. It's like a map book from where I started. Cyphering, trying to be the hardest on the yard. Some of the hardest rappers got a never, never date. We'll never hurt their mama, we'll never see they say. I feel blessed, so I'm rocking my loved ones. I left behind good count times and cold lunch. Yeah, mama, I'm on one. I'm free, ain't no words of expressions. See my smile, that's real, no fake shit. You would too if you seen it, the moves was basic. Game made, heartbreak kid. Living in reality, mid 30 with some kid shit. Damn, they like 50 and they clip or better. Boy. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Uh. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Uh. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Trying to beat life cause I can't cheat death. Death, 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 death. I'm gonna cover a lot of stuff in this live. A lot of stuff in this live. So there probably won't be a link, so don't be mad at me. But yeah, we got we gotta take a journey. Dirty ain't rambled in a long time. Like I ain't really rambled, and it's been a lot on my motherfucking mind. And that shit be coming out in so many different ways. Like when you be stressing or nervous or anything, that shit come out in so many different ways. So the way I, you know, in true to dirty fashion, you know the way I get into it is I shit. I start giving lessons, like press, like somebody said, man, dirt can't you can't never say nothing without it making a, <laughs> without it making it be a lesson with it. True shit. So the way we gonna start off today, powder donuts, religion, and YouTube. See y'all, y'all probably thought I was gonna have a long drawn out thing, but I'm gonna keep it short and simple, and let let y'all draw it. So yesterday, right, I go to the hood store the hood store and i get some weed from the home but he didn't have cash out so i had to go to somebody else that was right by him whenever i go to him i always get blessed but because i didn't have cash only cash out what's up debo what's up big bad Dave Bird. because i didn't have cash out i had to go to the competitor and when he gave me what he gave me it didn't look right it just, I mean, it didn't look right. And I looked at the weed. It's some good weed. It's some good weed. It's some great weed, actually. But as you can see, it has powdered stuff on it, right? So all of a sudden, I get back. I'm like, hell no. Is this thing short me? Because normally, I, I, shit, I don't even be spending like McConaughey. But I'm like, did this thing short me for this little, little bit of shit? And you charging me top dollar? Man, I got home, put that shit on the scale. This scale right here called these nuts. These nuts. Because when you buy weed from people, you want to make sure that it is what it is. But let me show you about perception. These nuts. You see that? You see this right here? Boom. Oh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, man. Boop. Perception is everything. Playing with it. <coughs> so the correlation between powdered donuts and religion and stuff is that this weed has many names. This weed has many names. Every people call it powdered donuts. Uh shit, they call it everything but Coca-Cola. But everything white. Everything white, sugar cane, everything white. This this weed, this weed has a name. But guess what? I went back to the same person. I mean, to the, the next day, prepared to get weed from the person I got love from, and he gave me this. And this looks as good as that. But that got additives and preservatives. That powdered shit makes it heavier. 
Because when I got back home and put the shit on these nuts, pause, but I got the shit to put it and put it on the thing, that motherfucker weighed up 3.5. I was like, damn, it's got to be, it's got to be a better way. Nigga, that shit was 3.5, and I got two bunts. <laughs> That's not it. So be prepared. So the reason why I say powdered donuts, it has so many different names. And the thing is, because when it comes to religion, it's a bunch of different interpretations of the same thing. When it comes to YouTube, it's a bunch of different interpretations of the same thing. Uh-huh. See, I thought I was going to go long drawn out. Long drawn out with it. No. Three different correlations of the same thing. That's it. That's just how I was just shit. That's how I was going to draw that shit up one time. One time. But let me get to my let me get to my first song selection. Even though I don't normally be playing songs and shit, but that song, these songs I'm realizing now that they got it on YouTube where you could just Cut out the segment. Yeah, man, I'll play me a motherfucking song or two, man. It's all good. It's all good, man. So we're going to open up with this song before I get on my radio. This is J. Yeah. Yeah. All I talk is crack. Don't look a fish scale. We out here with the big whales playing with it. If it's chicken, I ain't finna miss it. Run the ticket, boy, we out here playing with it. Holy with the hip beam. Target practice, boy, we out here playing with it. Yeah. Big body flip screens. 80 up, 80, boy, we out here playing with it. Grew up in the gangland. I'm low B cooking, plus I'm clutching with the same hand. Code is Steve Austin when I bang cans. All black 40 with the gloves. I'm Gary Payton with the rain, man. Big body beaver with the Wally on the quick run. A nigga try me, bet I put a body on a big gun. So many bitches on me, I could pick one. Even if I was with one. You two game goofy to even get one. The plug gave me two, I'm about to flip one. I got a few connects. If niggas don't show me love, I might strip one. We're talking about the money, you don't get none. I'm balling like Lamelo, the money's getting taller. It's I'm six one King Street, the nigga. You should listen to a different new. I'm popping Percocets and smoking cookies, and I'm sipping glue. That gangster shit, niggas really don't wanna get into. Yeah. Was acting different, food and yeah. got some bullets in his fist. All I talk is crack. crack. Don't look a fish scale. We out here with the big whales, playing with it. If it's chicken, I ain't finna miss it. Run the ticket, boy. We out here playing with it. Foley with the M B. Target practice, boy. We out here playing with it. Yeah. Big body flip screens, 80 up, 80, boy, we out here playing with yeah. Killer season, I'm surrounded by things. Breathing on my head, and they be fainting for crazy. What can I tell them? Shit, he don't believe in Jesus. Can't depend on these streets, they mislead us. Slide through and you gon' see us. Had this dope in my veins since the fetus. Blood stained the data, stomped him out, but trying to cheat us. Baby mama keep calling that bitch all on my pants. But I just want the Jesus. Jackson, come on, play this. Me and Will was in that coat with the roof gone. Make the wrong move and get your roof blown. I'm kicking down tombstones, you know, gringo. Three or four glicos in the top that hold a C note. This is young Bambino, I've been dug and nothing new. I'm just like to flip your bird with this hoozy. I ain't mumble. I can't let you hold this hammer if you gon' bump me. This line just gotta cook you, watch me bubble. Yeah. All I'm talking crack. Don't look a fish scale. We out here with the big whales playing with it. If it's chicken, I ain't finna miss it. Run the ticket, boy, we out here playing with it. Foley with the end beam. Target practice, boy, we out here playing with it. Yeah. Big body flip screens. 80 up, 80, boy, okay. we out here playing with it. 100 round Cinnabon for the hockey. Invisible sets on him, he playing hockey. Knock down the crossing guard trying to stop me. Swiping the plugs, daughter. She called me Papa. Trick City nigga, doing what the hood say. Karate chop the bricks. The knocks calling me Sensei. Play, play. Swinging the foreign, he going, yeah, yeah. I ain't satisfied unless I put away five a day. Triple wrap the packs, flying five a day. Place the order, my nigga, I'm one call away. Regime mob, nigga, yeah, that's the gang. Shit's never sweet out here. We don't fuck with the bang. Bang, bang, score, nigga, lay up. No time to lay up. Tell the bitches pay up. Run it. Fuck the bag off. All tens, hundreds in the flow. Out the twenties on the floor. I'll do it. Yeah. Don't make a fish scale. We out here with the big whales playing with it. 
If it's chicken, I ain't finna miss it. Run the ticket, boy, we out here. Wait, wait, wait. Funny with the end beam. Target practice, boy, we out here playing with it. Yeah. Big body flip screens. 80 up, 80, boy, we out here playing all this crap. Dope nigga fish scale. We out here with the big wheels playing with it. If it's chicken, I ain't finna miss it. Run the ticket, boy, we out here playing with it. Fody with the if beam. Target practice, boy, we out here playing with it. Yeah. Big body flip screens. 80 up, 80, boy, we out here playing with it. Yeah, man. Man, there's so many, man, I had a brain spasm this morning. Like, there's so many things I want to talk to y'all about, interact with y'all about. <clears throat> the thing is, sometimes when you freestyle, you don't even know what the hell you about to start talking about. You don't even know what you start talk, start, start talking about. Oh, I got one. We're going to talk about fool's gold. Fool's gold. And Debo, I got a song too. I got a song that I'm going to perform that I ain't never performed at all. Freestyle it. So you definitely go get that. So we're going to talk about fool's gold, right? When you see somebody with a big ass chain, right? What's your perception? Like, what's your perception? Like, what do you think? And then when you see somebody with a big ass chain that's fake, what do you think? Like, it's a whole thought process that goes along when you discover Somebody, somebody doing something or somebody's wearing something that's fake. The thing is, you're supposed to have it in you, yourself, whatever the fuck. Like, I ain't going to do this shit. That's a blow on my part. I know it's fake. So I ain't doing it. So let me tell you what it's like holding fool's gold. And holding something that may possibly be gold. Yeah, yeah, same fake Jordan, same thing. Only difference is I might work. Look, I was in a little bit neighborhood in motherfucking Barstow at uh fucking A and PM, and motherfucker walked up on me and sold me some motherfucking Jordans that I ain't know. I don't know about these Jordans like that. I ain't in the J's like that. So how the fuck I'm gonna know if it's real or not? How you gonna know unless you buy it or try it? Or take it to somebody and verify it. But at that person, at the time of that transaction, you don't know that this motherfucker on some bullshit. So then when he sells you these shoes and you realize they fake, you didn't put your foot in these motherfuckers. And somebody like me, I'm traveling. And a nigga in Barstow knows that if you at the gas station, niggas is coming and going. So let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the teaching mood today. Let me show y'all something. First, I'm gonna start off simple. Educate y'all. Have y'all ever seen one of these? This right here. This is a silver dollar. This is a silver dollar. Right here, bam. Oh no, this ain't no 50 cent piece. This is how you verify. You see this? This is a 50 cent piece. I mean, this is a dollar. This is a 50 cent piece. See the difference? This is actually a dollar, but it's a giant dollar. Eisenhower, yes, Eisenhower dollar. They don't even have them. But because on GP, when I go to every time I cash a check, I ask them, do you have any 50 cent pieces, dollar coins, or a $2 bills? Why? Because that's the last thing you're going to spend. When you start getting to spend them motherfuckers, then it's time to uh, 
whatever gear, whatever hustle gear you got. It's time to turn up the notch a little when you get to have to spend them. So y'all seen that Eisenhower, right? Y'all seen that Eisenhower? Bam, Eisenhower. Bam, what you know about this though? What you know about this, this dollar coin, right? Perception is everything. This, this dollar coin, it says, it says, uh, one ounce fine silver. One dollar, right? Perception is everything. So what is this? What is this? If you look real close, what does it say? Hold on, let me get it where you can see. Oh, it's on this side. Oh, it's on this side. And it's in small print. Y'all see that right there? Copy. It says copy right there. That's what it's like holding fool's gold. Like this shit is worthless. But it looked good. So if I don't say it's a copy, then you ain't knowing. And a lot of people been on YouTube and they are copying carbon copies of other YouTubers and don't even know it. That's the advantage of being around YouTube for a long time. You get to see, oh yeah, he oh boy used to do that. Oh, he used to do that. Oh, he got that move from that guy. Oh, he oh 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 he copied that from that. Like this is when you've been around a long time, this motherfucker's man, look. I always wanted to be me. You know it, Wolf. Corrupt, what's happening, man? You know it, man. This coin right here. This coin right here. This coin right here is worth something. This is real silver. I got two more coin lessons for you. This is where it gets thick, thick. Thick, thick. Woo, look at that. 2023 Gold American Eagle. You see that thing? Matter of fact, I'm missing one. Gold Eagle coin. Look at that thing, man. So let me ask you this specifically, Wolf. This right here. You have a lot of these, right? But guess what? This motherfucker is fake. It is fake. You see that shit? Looks like a sealed up pole. You know what? So let me tell you something. This shit come from Timu, right? I'm really a, like I collect coins. This motherfucker come from Timu though. And I couldn't resist for the price. It was so cheap. I'm like, just let me see. Just let me see. Fool's gold. Fool's gold. What happens when somebody sell you fool's gold? Do you keep coming back? Do you keep coming back? Nah, man, that's when you cut ties. <coughs> so another lesson. This weed right here, right? <coughs> this weed right here. When I bought this weed, because the business was okay other times and it was fucked up other times, but I couldn't resist the price. So let me tell you about this weed. I could not resist the price of this weed. Perception is everything, right? You see this weed right here? Looks okay. Look like some green nuggets, right? Green nuggets. Look like healthy green nuggets. But let me show you something. Let me show you something. And there's a lesson in this too. It's a lesson in everything. This weed right here, if you open it up, you can see that it's brown. You can see that it's brown. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't because it's light right here. But this shit is brown on the inside. What does that mean when it's brown? That means that it's molded. 
it's molded. So then it's no good. So I spent this money on that shit. It was for the low, but ultimately it was fool's gold. Now, let me bring it home. I love my quarter collection, right? But the other day I decided to go through it. Because a lot of times we have gold right in our face and we don't even realize it because it don't look the same. It looks different. Right in your face. Maybe in your own collection. Just think about the people that got that saved coins and got pennies. That's worth a lot. So I looked, I went through my collection and I found a coin that I didn't even know I have. And some of y'all have never even noticed this coin, and it's been right in your face. See this coin right here? Watch this. I'm going to let y'all see it real quick. I'm going to let y'all see this coin real quick. You notice it got no markings? At first, when I saw it, I know some of y'all is like, that's a Harriet Tubman quarter. That's a Harriet Tubman quarter. But I found out different. Watch this. Bam. That is a 2023 quarter. That looks like this. Have y'all ever seen one of these? This is the only one in my coin collection. And I didn't know. And it was right there the whole time. So let me show you something. Watch this. Harriet Tubman Quarters, even though I know it's not a Harriet Tubman Quarter. Oh, my mama, they got Harriet Tubman Quarters. They got Harriet Tubman Daughters. Dollars. Where is this person at? Let me see. Quarters with no marking for 2023. Bam, right here. Oh, oh. Watch this. Watch this. Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Bam. Y'all see that? Now watch the price. Bam! Bam! Right in the collection. And you didn't even know. Sometimes you gotta look. Another man trash, another man treasure. But sometimes it could be right in your face. Yeah, I have to let that sink in. Let that sink in for a minute. Shout out Katniss for that for that super chat. I really appreciate that. You know, super chats is somewhat like a forgotten art, but it's very important because them super chats, like you never know. You could be having a live and motherfucker just drop that right thing, and it's like boop. Boop. I'm recharged. <laughs> So to get back on topic, man, it's a lot of different versions. It's the same shit. And when you realize that you are a carbon copy of somebody else, look in the mirror, man, and, and start to do changes and find who you are as a person. Because guess what? You could be around people and it'll water down your worth. Ain't nothing like being around people that water down your worth. Because the thing that we be forgetting is you are not them and they are not you. You have your own mission, your own purpose. We are, look, I know I surround myself with hunters, hunters, not gatherers, hunters, people that are not afraid to go outside their box, people that are not afraid to try stuff new, people that are trying to progress in this thing here we call life because in the grand scheme of things, we ain't here that long. We're not here that long. 
So there's a such thing called getting lost in the sauce. Pause. Lost in the sauce. Like, you don't never want to get lost in the sauce. Because what does that mean? That means it's the sauce is a, is a combination of a whole bunch of things. A whole bunch of things, like lost in the sauce. That means there's so much going on in that motherfucker that when you finally jump in, boop, 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 you're surrounded by all these different ingredients, and you got to try to find your way out this sauce, or you get lost. Because what happens, with the way they really describe it is like when you go on this, when you when you jump in the vat or whatever, and then all of a sudden, you just, they just see you sinking down, sinking down. Sick it down. Whatever you put. I don't care if it's a lobster or whatever. As soon as that motherfucker start sinking down and then all of a sudden, you see when the water, when it hits the thing and the water goes boop, boop, <laughs> boop, boop, because you go, you in the sauce. You lost in that motherfucker now. That's why when shit is lost in the sauce and you can't see, you got to dig your hand in there, feel around and shit, find what you lost in that motherfucker. So just think if you lost gold in the sauce. If you see yourself as if you see yourself as gold as you should, then you should not get lost in the sauce. And sometimes you get lost in the sauce, you might need somebody to put on one of them surgical gloves and fill around and find you and pull you out that sauce because you lost in it. Yeah, it's all bad to get lost in the sauce. It's even worse to get lost in somebody else's sauce. Pause. So that's how, so when you want, so what I'm getting to is about reset. We got to, we got to do things in life that help us reset so you can get back to your worth, what you about. And as I'm talking to y'all, like Dream say, I'm talking to myself because I don't have these too many, I don't have too many moments like this. This is the moments when you get fed up and you're ready to change some shit. Debo, good leader shouldn't want to be a leader, but his homies choosing Man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's so many times when I didn't want to go to the yard and address certain issues, but I had to go. Shit, who else was going to do it? I had to go. I had to take that fade. Like every, every, I, I was at the top of damn near every list when it came to conflict resolution or, uh, or, or, uh, uh punishment issuance. <laughs> Carbon copies, man. You don't want to realize. You don't want to be that. You do not want to be a carbon copy of somebody else. Like, that is a sickening feeling. All right. I got another song I'm going to play. Oh, shit. I've been sharing. Hold on. Because this message is for somebody out there. This message for somebody out there that needs to hear this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. And I want y'all to see the words of this too. Y'all got to see the words of this shit here. All right. Bam. Bam. Because if I'm in a position where I got to talk to like different genres at the same time to get my point across. Because I want the Dirty Nation, I want y'all to know that I love y'all. Like we built our relationship. And then a lot of people that I'm just getting to know, you know, I appreciate y'all too. Because I understand I didn't poke my head in a lot of hallways. And in the hallways that I poke my head into, the goal is not to let the door close behind you. And keep on going up your hallway. That's how you find your truth. Yo, man, what you do that motivates and brings people together. But there's some people out there that that seek to, they seek, man, I'm going to let the song speak for itself, man. Let's read the words, too.
So let me tell you something about this YouTube, right? The power of words is crazy because you could play that song and it'll be about 50 people that think that song is about them. But truth of the matter is, that's been one of my favorite songs by Eminem since 2000 and 2010. 2010 so that's just saying that a lot of stuff that goes on like jealousy and hate and envy that shit is a repetitive process it's a repetitive what's up with young but it's a repetitive process that that you go through going through life you're gonna get hated on you're gonna get talked about you're gonna have people try to diss you in your face and all type of shit for you standing on what you believe and what you know but the thing is knowing yourself you got to keep going and it's okay to miss. It's it's okay to admit that you might have took a wrong turn. It's okay to admit that you might have took a wrong turn. Shit, Skyler left Texas, went to Denver, and admitted, "Fuck this shit. I took a wrong turn," and went back home. So that's kind of the message that I'm trying to get to all y'all. That's really like Dirty Nation. That really fuck with me and everybody that see what's going on and see that we've been here. This is about roots, but see that we've been here. I know this is like a repeat record thing, but I promise you I'm in a transition in my life. I'm at a transition in my life where I'm weighing shit out and looking at that shit entirely different. Because if you think about it, where I started at, I started in a damn car. I started homeless in a car, then transitioned to a garage, then transitioned to somebody's couch. That was short lived, but then transitioned to finding the person that means the most to me in life. That's a fucking journey. But what happens is if you get around things and people that water you down, then your story gets lost in translation and you, you lose your individuality. And that's what YouTube is about. Maintaining your individuality, not letting people come and knock you off your square, because that's the natural thing that's inside people. Well, not all people, because it's not in me, because I want to see everybody win. But no, it's not about knocking you off your square, shaming people, making them feel bad. It's not about that. And this is not about anybody in particular. I got to keep saying that, because like I say, I'm talking to different genres at the same time, because a lot of this shit is correlated. Don't get lost in the sauce. So let me so, let me let me. uh. So let me tell you my token for those of y'all that know, but those of y'all that know what a token is and what movie first person, tell me what movie it is. This motherfucker spins, right? Y'all can't see it. it's spinning, right? Then they keep that thing to make sure that they was, they knew that they was either in a dream, whether they was sleep or awake. So this motherfucker keeps spinning, right? This is my token. And that was y'all commercial break. Anyhow, more to the commercial break is that if y'all don't know, for some of y'all that come here from the prison genre, because that's the other genre I got to talk to, Gavin Newsom, and this is a prison rant. So if y'all don't, if y'all don't want to hear, it, then okay, just you know, I feel it. So I've been, I'm in contact with a lot of people that's inside, man, because now they got tablets and they can just call. So I talk to a lot of different homies, man. And they all, it, it seemed like it was prophetic the way that I started to feel how I feel about, about prison now in California. Like, I don't even understand how there's prison channels that are still in existence. Because now it's like you're talking about medieval times that don't exist no more when it comes to the California prison system. So right now, they are, they are in the process of integrating all the last level tools that were GP. And there's some resistance. Like, for example, in Ironwood just recently, they had people at Chuckawalla and they were transferring them. They were transferring them. This is a 50 50 yard to Ironwood. So the inmates was like, fuck that. This is our yard. We're general G GP. You're not doing that. Man, on a level two yard, they took off on the police or level three. I think it's level, yeah, level three. Took off on the police. It's real now. So, they're, when it, and they're about to start trying to integrate level fours. So what does that mean? 
that means that it's about to be some bloody times ahead. In the last stages, like when anytime you have a war, like in the last, it'd be the last front, like the last battle. Because that's what's about to happen as these yards draw up and you get all, you corral all these killers and people that ain't never coming home and you put them in one spot and then you try to integrate that. Man, it's going to be bad. And it's already starting. So when you talk about prison as, as stripes and all that, anybody that just went in, let me let me put this memo out there. Because I talked to gangsters that's on 50-50 yards now. And that's because they even came to realizations in their life that they ready for change. It's it's a it's a cho it's a choice that I never was there to get, have the opportunity to have. Like I never had the opportunity to have a choice to like change and integrate because I don't know what I would have done. To be honest, I know what I was taught. I know how I was stand, but I know if I got two years to do, and I'm on a yard with somebody that got life without. Uh, yeah, nigga, I want to go home. I want to go home. And prison now in California is designed to help you go home. The government, gov Gavin Newsom, has done a lot for prisons in California in his time, and he's shut down. Like he's been the most impactful governor when it comes to prisoner rights and advocacy. He's been the most impactful governor across the board. And this man has managed to shut down prisons. They, while the other governors were talking about building prisons, like nonstop, building, building, building since the 90s. So it took somebody that didn't care about the past and was seeking change to, to change the laws that dropped the prison population that made it to where they were able to close excess prisons around and, and, and trim the fat off of the prison system so they can concentrate more and bring educational programs inside the wall. It's like I never thought I would ever be able to go back inside a prison to the real, like it's different when you go back inside a prison and you got a felon in your, and you and you going back in, so to visit somebody, maybe they don't want you to create, uh, 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 commit felonies in prison or uh, I mean in a visiting room or whatever. But when, I never thought I would be on a prison yard with all these homies that I've programmed with side by side with going in once a month. Man, shout out to, to old folks. Man, I'll be there April 20th. I mean, yeah, 420. Yeah, 420. I'll be fucking with my fucking with the homies and spreading that good message. Did racism change too? Uh, I don't believe you talking about a prison depot. Cause that's that's a uh, that's that's what I was kind of talking about. But uh, I'm pretty sure you was talking about prison. So yeah, racism is it's still there, especially on the higher levels. Because you got you know you got certain races that have clicked up against like blacks, and then and then you got other other floater races like the bulldogs, where where you got the north and the south coming together to attack them. So. It's it's right. I mean, and they all Mexican, so it's it's always going to be an element of racism in California prisons. The only things that have transcend racism is like I'm. A, I have to say it is like dropout gangs, dropout gangs, because you can be anything. You could be black, white, Asian, South Side, Northerner. If you didn't join that dropout gang, you could be whatever you want. That was the only thing that really transcended that. Other than that, it's going to always be some form of racism. It's going to be they water fountain, our water fountain. They shower, our shower. It's always going to be some form of that, especially like when it comes to a yard. What does that look like when you out there with other races and everybody is all mixed in, all mixed in together? To me, I would walk on a yard like that and be like, man, this is the twilight zone. Like where is what and how to get there? I can don't know where to go. Lost in the sauce. Governor Newsom is shutting down death row. Who would have thought that? Governor, Gavin, Governor Gavin Newsom has shut down death row. That's crazy. It took a governor like, like him with enough balls to make a difference to where 
everybody that I know that was starting, that started when I started back in the 90s, either they didn't have a chance to come home or they on their way home. Dirt, you ever think those two fives will ever be a solid car like a competitor? Um, <laughs> well, to, to, to for starters, it has to be an element of fear. And I'm going to tell you one thing is that you don't know with them, you don't know where the attack is coming from because the powers that be got so many different colors of the rainbow up under that. It's a lot dangerous because them motherfuckers is killing people. Like, they really put down demos, like, in the name of. So, I don't, I, I don't, uh, I, I believe there's, I believe that they are a car. I don't know about solid car. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me think a little bit deeper. This is Wolf. Okay, so, will they ever be a solid car? I know what you mean. You mean, like, solid, like, look, that is. Looked at it as like, yeah, they bought their business and they solid, like a solid person walking in time and doing it right. No, no, they would they matter to those who they they matter to those who they matter to. That's what that is. They matter to those that they matter to because I can see something like I can't see it unless. Like if when you're on the streets and you meet these people, you'll never know. So let's get that straight. Like you'll meet these people. I will. I'll will never know. I'll never know. And it doesn't even matter. Just I say it out loud. It doesn't even matter. He already shipped out more than half out to the main line. He got a fat house in Elk Grove. What the hell is you know talking about? Shout out Indica. Chronic of Narnia. Wow. Okay, never mind. I think that's something. Uh, yeah. So shout out Gavin. Shout out Gavin Newsom. Man, I just want to shine some light on that because that's a uh, that's epic in this time. So with this lunar eclipse coming Monday, whatever eclipse coming Monday. There are, the word is that they saying everybody should take a day off. Everybody should take Monday off. <laughs> but here's their reasoning. Their reasoning is that this what's about to happen, this three minutes and whatever second, four minutes and whatever seconds, I think it was three and something. <clears throat> this eclipse that we're about to see is not going to happen again for another 20 years. This is not going to happen for another 20 years. Is that worth taking a day off on Monday? Uh, I probably wouldn't have considered it until I thought about it. Shit, 20 years. I, I hope I'm here for another 20 years. Don't y'all? Shit, but just in case I ain't, shit, at least give me a uh, motherfucking, at least give me a break or something. Let me let me let me take let me go on a uh, on a break real quick and go out and put my glasses. Do you gotta have glasses on to look at that thing? You gotta have glasses on to look at this thing. Somebody let me know so I can, because I, I want to look. I want to see. I want to come back with my retinas intact. Hey, so look, man, this blunt right here. Hey, young, please. Hell no, I ain't begging. I ain't begging, cuz. Nigga, is you able to come up, cuz? Is you able to come up, pizza? Is you able to come up, wolf? Because, and I promise you, man, I don't want, listen, I miss y'all, and I want to smoke this blunt with y'all. Is y'all able to come up? Because if not, I just keep talking and talk my shit. But I really want, like, like, Dirty Nation, I really want y'all to come up here, man. Come up here, dirty, because this is what this is the most. Y'all want to motivate me? Y'all want to motivate me? This is how you do it. So I got a blunt right there for sure. All right, Wolf. 
Pizza said it. Yes, Pizza said it the other day, man. I just want to come on and smoke like we used to do, man. Yes, I do too. That's the name of this live. Roots. The roots, the things that brought us together, man. I understand I walked down the hallway and took a wrong turn slightly, but took a wrong turn. I know how to find my way back. This story right here. Man. Hold on, I'm about to post this link right now. I will not put a nothing to this blunt until this link is posted. <clears throat> Polarized lenses, not plain glasses. That's what I wanted to know. Good looking, Stanley. Polarized lenses. Hey, so in case y'all didn't know, <clears throat> in case y'all didn't know, this up there, that is my cash tag. That is my cash app cash tag. So if you want to contribute to, to the channel and support the growth and support the motivation, and you don't want to do a super chat, which is fine by me because they are taxed. Super chats are taxed, just in case y'all don't know when you donate. But at the same time, you have to hit a threshold. And so super chats help you reach that threshold. So all super chats are appreciated as well as you can hit that QR code up there to hit that cash app. Even if you just want to see how it worked for the first time, just use your scan app on your phone and scan that QR code and boop. And then when I do this right here, bam, when I do that right there, where Stanley's comment is blocked at right there. But that's my Instagram. That's my Instagram right there, the brown QR code. I'm pretty sure you could probably scan it through the QR code. And up there, that's Bruce Lee whooping ass. What's up with Walkeezy, man? Oh, man, it's been a while. Oh, what, is, what is that? A, what you got at the end? It's a, like a little plastic thing i don't know my friend gave me a bag of them and he's like you gotta smoke these man it's like some banks <laughs> man some black and miles rolled up it, it's really it's really mild like you can't even taste tobacco so i don't know if it's like a hemp blunt or something or what but it's pretty dank well that's what's up i smoked one yesterday and it was pretty good so he gave well, me a bag kind of like the mystery bag or something and yeah. It had joints. Well, that's blunt well, inside. Look how many uh, joints. Oh, should he love you? And then there's like some, at least one more blunt left. He said they're uh, Dutch Hawaiian infused with wax or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, right, right, right. well, well, let's blaze one. Well, let's blaze one for the nation. Yep. There we go. Hey, so what you think about my coin collection? <laughs> well, my advice, if you want to stock up on gold and silver, is you buy bars, right? Like little bars. Because uh, the coins are more counterfeited and stuff than the bars are. And they'll, the But they come in little paper, like that one that you had with the paper around it and the plastic. This one. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of how they come. So you know you're not getting cheated, but it's going to be like a reputable company. You know, I mean, like Nike or something like that or Ford or whatever. You're going to recognize the name. It's not going to be just some, you know, somebody yeah, then, jewelry yeah. making this. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this. I don't even know why I keep this shit, but I think they're I keep them for reminders that fools exist. And I was one of them. Temporarily. Hey, did you did you did you see that? You see that right there? You remember that? Oh yeah. That's Dusty. Dusty getting it. <laughs> Look at him. Bam. 
I gotta get him back though. I gotta get him back. See how he rolled by looking chunky. Oh, he was chunky. That was the charger. I mean challenger. He tried to challenge me, right? And he got a V8. But the thing is, he didn't know about uh he didn't know about traction control because he had just got the car. So he was trying to do donuts and shit. I was like, oh, okay, 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 I got him. And while he was doing that, I was over there just digging. Watch. Watch this. <laughs> Watch, see, he's just digging right now. Look, 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 look he's digging. Look, digging, 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 digging. And then the limit, then the, the limited slip kick in. Look, look, look. Man, that's when we start whipping. Yeah, old school's got it, man. I wish I didn't have to sell mine, but <laughs> ooh, I got, ooh, I almost got chills just now. I almost got chills, man, because I almost had to sell. I almost had to sell him a couple of times, but you mean harder time. You mean harder times with harder will. Mm -hmm. Had to had to, to step it up. I was talking about them two dollar bills and shit. Shit, if you get the two, if the two dollar bills and shit, and the the coins go. Oh, and you looking at that? Man, you got to keep shit around you to light a fire up on you. None of those days is like, <laughs> got that collection. Like, well, I can get other $2 bills later, you know. I got I I need this $8 right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's been there before. I remember shit. you got that. I remember you got that, uh, that $100 bill. Keep that in your wallet at all times. Because if you know that you're going to spend it, then shit, you you know it, it, that means it's time to make a couple of changes because you're spending your emergency. Yeah, you always got to have some tokens, you know. Look at right here. Oh, don't make me go get mine. Don't make me go get mine. Somebody said nah. earlier. Somebody said earlier this right here. Uh, something about when I showed that quarter. Let's see what he said. He said something about the D, the letter D on it. It has oh, to have a like, D on it. See that right like there? Error code or something, yeah. That has to have a D on it. I don't know if you can see, but that's a D. Oh, yeah. Any questions? Any, any, any questions? Yeah. It probably might not be that worth that much though. That's probably just the opening bid on it though. So yeah, don't don't, don't take it. Don't don't think I'm walking around with an eighteen hundred dollar coin like that. But it I might be worth to, it. I got a story on your on your <laughs> fake versus the real the the other day. I went to uh, this house and this real estate agent has some like Jordans on. And I was like, oh, nice Jordans, blah, blah, blah. We're talking about them. I'm like, I'm a sneakerhead. Da, da. And then he's like, well, what do you think about replicas or reps? And I was like, what do you mean reps? What's that? And he's like, replicas. I'm like, you mean like fakes? And he's like, yeah, you know, because I, I don't want to pay like 400 for some, you know, Chicago lost and found or something. I want to like... <laughs> You know, wear them though, right? I want to pay like a hundred and have these replicas, and I was kind of like, ah, man, like I, I can't do it, man. You know, like I'd wear a different shoe, but I just can't wear a fake because if you're true to the shoe game, it's the same as any other game, right? Mm -hmm. You got to keep the rules and shit. So, <laughs> so when I bought them fake Jordans, at first I was like, ah, oh, but I was kind of, I was kind of trying to uh, keep up with everybody thought. And realized that wasn't really me. And so when I got them, they sat around for a minute because I refused to wear them. But then shit. The right, the right, the right outfit, the right shorts, and the right top and the right hat. I was like, damn, they they matching. Fuck it. Yeah. Who's judging? It's you. Yeah, you're gonna rock them if you already got them, you know. <laughs> hey, big bad, you trying to come through, you got to start it over. Leave it to come back because it's not connected. Yeah, I got it right. Here's my little collection. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. When you when you but when you like that with it, you can't. Yeah, I feel it. No black eyes. No, no black eyes. I got all the, 
I got a lot of J's, man. I'm wearing the green J ones right now, or J sixes, J six yeah. or something to match the old Kevin Garnett jersey and shit. <laughs> there you go. Batteries. Hey, big bad. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm bad. Oh, this is weird, man. Just second. Nothing, just right here. The old fucking nine to five. That's right. Shit, just like the old days, huh? <laughs> yeah, just like the real old stuff. Doing real so fucking work with, now. Without the hammers. Clean stuff. Hey, well, can you guys do the fucking uh, ADUs over there, down south? Say again. You know, you guys do the ADUs down there? Have you inspected any of those? Oh, yeah. ADUs? They're like separate yep. houses that they're letting people build in their yards. Yep. Yeah, I had one the other day in Pomona. It, was, it said it was a triplex. Three bedroom, you know, like one bedroom, one bath, one bedroom, yeah. one bath. Man, there's like six or seven bathrooms there. There was, must have been like eight or nine beds. I don't know how many motherfuckers sleeping in the closets and stuff. But that's how it was. Every little shop and they had a shed that had a bathroom and a and a kitchen in it. A shed, like outside and shit. I couldn't believe it. But is that under it is. is that is that under a track home or the same thing? It's it's just like unpermitted housing and shit, you know. People are just like, "Hey, you want to sleep in the shed? I got out there for three hundred bucks a month. Go for it. They ain't got no water. <laughs> you can sleep out there." And you still have to inspect it. <laughs> they they wanted me to. I I looked in there, but I didn't inspect it. I didn't write anything because that shit's all unpermitted, you know. But if it's a like legit ADU, like big bad was talking about like that's like a garage that's been turned into like a pool house or a you know full like back yeah. house right and it's got everything you know like smoke detectors and the whole shit but if it's just like some fucking man cave <laughs> they kind of turned into like a little living spot no way you know okay okay i mean if you i just started seeing dollar signs in my backyard <laughs> yep well is like that yeah, in <laughs> certain neighborhoods <laughs> certain neighborhoods are going to complain for sure but east la pomona some of those spots you can get away with it i guess <laughs> so it, so the thing is so if you if you appraise they are i mean if you appraise or, or, or inspect it then they can claim it on their taxes and raise the property value huh? yeah if they appraise it and and they get a permit for it it does raise the property value so if they yeah. had like a garage and they're like, yeah, this is an ADU, it's it's extra square footage or whatever, like, then your house value is going to go up and you got to pay more taxes for sure. So that's why they'll try to get you to approve it. <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. Yeah, when we bought this house here, it the garage was like a living space like that, but then they'd like took everything out and put a garage door, and that way it wasn't like you know a tax thing; it was cheaper. But if you want to turn it back into like a pool house, it's pretty easy type thing, you know? Yeah, okay, okay. My so there's different ways and shit. Hey, yeah. Big Bad, yo, yo, Mike, yo, Mike. You know, uh, at, it sounds like you in the tunnel. Oh, I got a lot of noise back here, my bad. I can hear you now. Uh, I probably am. In. Hey, Dirk, I've been trying to get you to fucking. Come on there with uh, one of my homies on here that's on YouTube right here says he, he knows you and fucks with you. You know I'm fucking uh, Cali Hood Media? Cali Hood Media? Cali Hood, Cali Hood, Cali Hood. Oh, oh Hood shit. Media. I, oh, Hood Media. Yeah, Hood Media. Yeah. <laughs> I've been going on with my homie right there. Were he right there with you? And I do Skinny Thunder. Nah, not right now. Nah. What is it, Hood Media 3? Is, is Hood Media 310? 
I don't think I could look without leaving. Hey, media. You got to. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see videos of Kenny Thunder and shit. Nah, you got a, Do we got a number with it or something? Wait, is he Mexican? I don't, nah, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, he's from so like Riverside or somewhere down there. Crazy. Down there by crazy, work. crazy Hood Media? No, not Crazy Hood Media. No, not that one. I know that one too. Cali Hood Media. It's Cali Hood Media. Probably yeah. Thunder. Yep. <laughs> all right, I I subscribe to him. Yeah. It's all good, man. It, hey, it's a, hey, it's a it's an open platform for one man, and that's one of the things that's that's gonna be different, right? Because times of times have changed, yeah. and and I don't want people yeah. not to come on because people own shit. You know, we used to do shit. We used to bring them in. If they ain't meant to yeah. be there, oh, yeah. they ain't no, meant I to fuck, be here. I fuck with shooter angels, man. I fuck with a lot of shooter angels now. Oh man, that's 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 epic. That's epic. Yeah, I don't fuck. They, I still don't fuck with dropouts, but I fuck with a lot of shooter angels. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> hey, did you see that? You see that? You see that quarter? <laughs> Which one, oh, man? Me, Anthony. That it ain't even Susan B. Anthony. This motherfucker is uh it looked like Harriet Tubman, but I think Why she are you buying shit on Timo expecting to get real shit? Timo's the place where you buy shit that you know is bootleg, but it's cheap and it I, looks cool. Because I wanted to feel it. I wanted to feel it. <laughs> yeah, but it's fake, <laughs> dog. Shit, I ain't pop, shit, I ain't selling them. I ain't doing nothing with them. No, I See, know. If I was but when you, as soon as you said fool's gold, I was gonna say nobody knows better than you about fool's gold. Remember when you got hustled by that fucking? Oh, Middle why you gotta bring up, you gotta bring up <laughs> old shit? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first that thing mother, that hit my mind when you said fool's gold. As soon as you mother, said that, that was the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Where was he from? Dubai. That motherfucker's hey, from it looks, Dubai. It looks fresh though, right? It uh, looks fresh though, right? Kids in the car, man. Give him a break. I don't even sweat yeah, shit like that. Like yeah. even if it, my comment said this right here, I don't give a fuck if it's fake or not. If it looks fucking dope, I'll wear it. Whether it be Jordans, gold, or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck, homie. What does real or I fake really mean at the end of the day? You know, I had to if that motherfucker I had don't to turn my older. shit green or black, we're cool. You know, like what does it really I, mean at the end of the day? So it's worth some money, okay? You know what I mean? That's it. Does it change the way your appearance looks? Does it change any of that? Yes, it, it, it makes it look nice. No, I, no, I mean, it doesn't. Shit, it, it, if it, Absolutely I'm talking not. About if, it, if it's a nice replica, well, as you're saying, I'm going along with you. <laughs> yeah. So if it's a nice right. replica, and you yeah, got it exactly. on. Yeah, exactly. But I'm saying, it, I'm saying, rather nice. be fake or real, it doesn't. Right. If it looks cool, it looks cool. You know. Yeah. It's like music for me. I don't give a fuck what side of the tracks it comes from. If it's bumping, I'm bumping it. You know what I mean? Shit. Like, straight up. We didn't the other day, I watched this, the Shoe Channel on YouTube, and he said, like, are these fakes? He said, yeah, but, you know, nobody's going to be able to tell I, that I, you got them on, I right? Hell he's like, Jordan's oh, cool. He said, but let me, can I, let me tell you something know, about the right? Jordan fakes again. So, if you buy right when you buy Jordan fakes, what you're buying is Jordan's made by the same people that make the real ones in the same motherfucking shop where the real ones are made after hours. You know what I mean? If you buy right, they're just, they're the same shit. They're just not on paperwork. They're just not on paperwork. They're made by the same motherfuckers after hours in the same shop. Dog. You, you got to know what you're buying. I used to buy hella fake Jordans and they're fucking, I would challenge anybody to tell me they're fake. You know what I mean? I, like, don't play. I, don't play. I can pull some. I can call somebody right now. They might beg to differ. Yeah. Well. Well, yeah. Those but, people would be like me, though. You know what I mean? 
I knew I knew they were fake, but I knew it when I bought them. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing. That's the thing. Anytime I, you I buy Jordans know. for fifty bucks, if you're buying Jordans for fifty bucks, dog, yeah. they're they're fake. And let me tell you something. They got fakes yeah. of all the different shoes that are made in China. Because you know the real ones are coming from China anyways, dog. Straight up. They ain't made in the yeah. US. They're made there too. China, Indonesia. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but if you don't, but here, what, watch this. If you never know the difference, you never know. If nobody ever tells you that they're fake. What you don't, what you don't know don't hurt you, know. you, right? Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what you know. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Only you know, right? Like that's now, some of, it's a, it's some of them are obvious. Some of them are obvious, especially the ones that I fuck with. I'm a Jordan 4 guy. That's the only ones I really fuck with. They're Jordan 4s. So, those ones have been fucking <laughs> fake so many times. You can, the bad ones are obvious, dog. The bad ones look like female shoes, honestly, from the back and shit, but there's different ways to tell. The jump man and shit, you know what I mean? Might be slightly fucking. <laughs> I had to do that one time. Hey, Wolf, you got one more blunt? Because I should, after that, I'm count. Oh, I got something for y'all. Uh oh. This right here. <laughs> oh, shit. It's the Blue Dream Live Resin Diamonds. Oh, this shit, shit. man. Let me uh, open it up. Look at that. It's some chunky and funky. Let me see if I can get the light on it. Hey, D Debo just started ticking. Yeah, this stuff, no. man. <laughs> Debo just had a nervous tick. <laughs> Ooh, something like that. <laughs> so I'm going to try out right here. I don't have a right. doctor collector anymore, but I got this one. So. <laughs> Hey, when when you you don't hey, you, you don't even fuck with them no more, uh, uh, Debo. Oh uh, no, I do. I'll hang out oh, with yeah. a Celtics fan and fucking crash out on his couch all goddamn day after smoking for ten minutes with that thing. Oh, I'm yeah. not a Celtics fan. I'm a Kevin Garnett fan, but not a Celtics fan. Shirt, man. So he basically yeah. just he basically just told you like, look here, man. If I fuck with you for 10 minutes, it's over. I'm just letting you know, man. Just uh, <laughs> call my girl, yeah, let her know. Is, I, I, I might not I be home. I backward because this is, a, hey, if this you is ever, Kevin Garnett, I, I, man. That's the only reason I'm wearing this. It's like a blasphemy. But if real you quick. Had a plan, though, that you was about to go out and have a good fucking time and do something, and you never <laughs> even ended up leaving. <laughs> that's the real the deal right there. To the freaking after party. <laughs> I know what's happened to all you motherfuckers. Shit, Wolf didn't done it. To, Wolf did it to people coming all the way up north. Get them out their element and then get them fried. That ain't right. Man, Wolf got bodies all up and down the interstate. Let's just keep it <laughs> on. <laughs> uh, some fool still sleeping in his car right now trying to fucking sleep. Oh. <laughs> Hey, look, look. When Wolf pulled something on me, he was like, Let me find out that like, Debo yeah. without his camera on and shit. <laughs> All right. Huh? Hey, he uh, Debo, what it do, my dog? I sent my own How you been, man? Uh, fucking ups and downs, a lot of downs, man, but I'm going back up now, so. Oh, yeah. Yep, I know it's you. What to do, homie? I see mine. Hey, what's up, though? You know what's cool? We all spread out across California. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got a smoke session in fucking different counties and shit, man, everywhere. That's, that's kind of cool. I like that. Man, you know, we've been doing this. Hey, did, did you see what I said earlier about the Dirty Nation and everybody you got who's a part of it? Like, as different as everybody is, one, most people seem to be respected at the gate, which is cool. Like, they respect different personalities. But two, like, I wouldn't underestimate anybody in their field of work or whatever it is they're capable of or their skill set in this group of people. Everybody's Hell different. Not. I know everybody has a certain set of skills that they're fucking good at, and that's fucking apparent to me. <laughs> Straight up. 
That's and if you Great. built a fair if you built a family, that's how you would want it to be. Yeah, you want, bring all those people to the table. It's like, hey, there's somebody there who can do what needs to be done at whatever given point in time. You know, so everyone has their chance to you know do their job. And there's so many stories behind the scenes that that's what really make this shit. That's what make it strong. <laughs> yeah, no, like, sure, man. Well, I remember the other day I, I was reminded, uh, young man, he drove from San Diego all the way up California, man. Right? Yes. That's the well, trip, man. well, well, <laughs> southern, well, southern California, but shit, that's a journey. <laughs> but the trip, the crazy part is he drove from the Bay to Sacramento just to come say what's up. To me, that's a whole last. That's what I'm saying. So my point is, hey, he's got a new skill set that we've learned that if this fucker can show up anywhere if you need him to, because clearly he'll do it for what a softball game. That's pretty yeah. So yeah, you can't underestimate nobody. Hey, right, so I got a question, man. Can I pull up so I can... You hear me? Am I okay? You got me? All right, I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to ask you, man, because I've seen it on the news. It said the A's, the Oakland A's, going to play next three seasons in Sacramento. You hear about that? Yes, sir. How you feel about that? Yes, How you sir. feel about that? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, but I'm going to tell you how the universe works, though. I was talking to a cousin that called me randomly. He really, he's not my cousin. He just was one of my grandma's favorite students that kind of just – you know, it kind of worked like that. He called me yesterday randomly like, yeah, man, it's about to be warm, man. We got to get these fish poles and get out on this water. Come to find out, <clears throat> he worked down the street from where I work. He used to work at Roof Chris. Now he worked down the street downtown. <laughs> and so he, so he told me, yeah, man, the king, the, the A's about to come to Sacramento. I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Are you serious? He was yeah. like, yeah, man, they're about to come soon. They already played seven games in Oakland, and it's about to be over. <laughs> and they packing up and bringing their show to here. And, and in them first seven games, they only have they only brought 45,000 total fans in Oakland. Like, they protesting and everything in Oakland. They're saying that the distance between Sacramento and Oakland is only an hour. So they're going to be coming to Sacramento to protest to move, too. And so they're going to be in Sacramento for three years until they transition to Las Vegas. And Las Vegas will then have secured the robbery of Oakland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Vegas stripped Oakland out, man. That's fucked up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, but the thing is, where I work is directly impacted by that. So that means that instead of Instead of being seasons off, that right there makes it year round because of where the people got to park. Oh, shit, yeah. Hmm. Not here. The Warriors, you need to know their stadium, you know their fucking, their, their places in San Francisco, they still kind of have to be Oakland. Man, Warriors got, Warriors, Warriors got stripped out by Frisco because that's a better environment. The Cow Palace or wherever they were playing in Oakland, I'll tell you, that shit is what? That's I was just on that street the other day. That, that street was, is what? That was so I, I, okay, and the, well, the Oracle and the A Stadium is right next door. They right next door to each other. Pretty much the same parking lot, I believe. As soon as you pull out that motherfucker, you need a wheel right. alignment. And now out to Frisco, but it's still there in the base, so you can't say they stripped it all the way out. So it just hasn't. But that's pretty dope. Yeah. The A's are going to sack. I fuck with the A's. It's not is my team, it? but I fuck Shit. with the That was my dad's team. Is it? I can't wait to give me a Sacramento A's anything. Shit, so I've been doing a I bunch know. of... Is he going to actually say that, or is he going to still stay open? Or are they going to actually say Sacramento A's? See, <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it don't, I'm going to make one. <laughs> it does. Is it counterfeit or is it not? Now, Debo was about to say something. Though, what's up, Debo? I'm nothing, bro. I was just gonna say I've been to a bunch of uh, pro games, right? Like football, baseball, fucking bunch of other shit. But the the dopest one was hockey. Hockey <laughs> was the most intense. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I went to actually the best was uh, a baseball game I went to in Japan in 2008. 
And over there, it was most intense. But for being over here, if you go to a hockey game, it's pretty intense. And I was just reading the uh, the articles right. today, read the newspaper, right? And they had, like, the New York Rangers. It's a hockey team, right? And they were playing somebody. And within the first minute, eight players were ejected from the entire game. <laughs> they started the fucking puck drop and immediately five on five. That's how they started the game. Fucking drop yeah. the gloves and started throwing down. So that's what and I love about they don't they don't throw them. punches. It's totally allowed. You know what I mean? Watch, watch this, this though. Watch, hey, watch this watch though. My, my personal opinion after after hockey would be soccer. Yeah, rugby gets pretty deep too, man. That's football with no pads. <laughs> well, I can't. Well, yeah, I guess rugby is a given. But but in the traditional American sports, I would say hockey. I mean, soccer is probably next with as with the yeah, most yeah, physical. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, no, so the soccer's there. No, yeah, but intense wise, man, the crowd, like in the the energy, soccer's up there with. Basketball's that. a pretty much a contact sport. Then I then I would go football. Yeah, I got and then I would. Uh, a uh, charity game, man. Got to get pictures with Tim Brown and shit when I was a kid. But what it was, I might have told you about this. It was the uh, San Francisco 49ers playing the Oakland Raiders, but it was a charity basketball game at the Warriors Arena. So you got yeah. these big old linemen trying to make yeah, it up. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> it was funny, man. I got the same shit. You both, I did. <laughs> you know who else was there? Lester Hayes back there. Lester yeah. Hayes played in that game. Yeah. Back there. Yeah, I got lucky. My dad uh, took me. Yeah, I'm gonna end up going to uh I'm gonna end up going I'm supposed to be going back inside either Solano or Vacaville to play basketball against the inmates. You must like that, man. Sounds like you're doing it a lot, bro. How's it feel? Is it good? It it um is there man, any parts that make you tense or anxiety and all that? Yeah, but I'm a type of person that face my fears. Yeah, you walk through it, man. You know, you just get, got to get past it, right? Yeah, so then once I did it a couple of times, I don't have it none. Like, oh, yeah, okay. It, okay. It's you, more, jump it, in, it, you jump into the deep end and you do it head first. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's a way to get it over with, man. That's a good way to get it over with. Pretty much, because I promise you, the first time I walked in, it was like, I was, I was, I was shook. But I shook that like shook that like because I didn't know how I would feel. Yeah. As as and then uh when I got there and was stretching on the on the astro turf and like looking around, I'm like, damn, I'm really back in this bitch. This is crazy. And but and then I'm interacting with the inmates. It felt normal interacting with the homies and shit and, and other blacks, but then when I got these these other races coming up to me. And they know who I am and shit. You know, shit. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was yeah. humbling at the same time. So by the third time, it's it's like shit. I'm going to see all the homies. Let's yeah. go. Hey, that's a trip. Hey, did you see what I uh, wrote in the little comment section earlier about uh, sitting down for ten hours a day and talking to somebody to get all the shit on paper? Yeah. Do you see that, man? That's something you might just want to think about, man, because you already got all them, you know, the story right here. It's just word for word that shit printed out. You got something that somebody might accept and pay you for it, man. Man. Get it published. Just get the, the story right here. Just get out word for word, and boom. That, that's all so, a book of short stories, man. So whenever, I, uh, so whenever I'm faced with a proposition that somebody presents to me, the first thing I do is think about what's stopping me. Like, what's stopping me immediately, right now? And then I also look at what other, how many times have I been uh, approached with this where I had to face the facts? And so the facts is, I started writing a book about my life when I was 18. And, and, and I, and my my shit, my memory was clear for at that time when I started writing it. And I got the whole out and I was trying to write it in three parts. Um, while in prison, no, head in the prison, while in prison. And then once I came home, I was trying to set myself up for success back then. And so what I did for the middle prison while I was in prison is I kept, it's not a journal, but I kept some, I kept a a, 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 a memoir of every day 
that I was in prison from 2000. Well, I started 99 to keep keeping that January 1st. And I kept it all the way until I went home in 2013. My whole memoir. So I could just recall it and write the and, and write the second phase of the book there. Yeah. And then from there, once I came home, then I was going to go like from my journey from there to there. So I have the first manuscript see, right here in this fucking closet that I wrote a long time ago to fit, to set myself up. And so when you present me with that, the first thing I do is think about, damn, I got a book right there that just sitting and collecting ashes. I mean, collecting dust right next to all them thousand raps that I wrote. Yeah, the fact that you have that is already way more valuable than just your memories because you wrote down how you felt at those certain times, right? Yes, and, and yes. Then, like, that you tried to format it with like a beginning, middle, and end, but through the prison experience, right? Yeah. But, but, but what I think you're missing, and I don't know shit, but I just from reading books, but I know it's like you miss the who and the why. So if you start to, with those as the roots, who, who, you know, where, and then where also, you know what I mean? If you start with that through the first part of whatever chapter or whatever phase in life, right? Like the first section who and why and then you get to pick through that stuff and kind of show okay this shows who this shows why because you're gonna have to see through it but my, my thing was though man i know you don't want to go through all that shit you don't want someone asking you intense questions you don't want to have to run over bullshit over and over again fuck you up you probably got ptsd no disrespect man that's what happens to fuck for sure for sure so, so instead of sitting down with somebody who could break it down for you when you just talk and they break it down you already did it man it's this right and if you put that in word, word format, that's good enough to get you a little a foot in the door. But with all the stuff you have in retrospect, man, you you have the material already. You have half of it, it sounds like. I don't yeah. know. But, but, you know, it might take time. You might not do it for another 10, 20 years. Who knows? But it sounds like someone's already put that seed out there because I recognize it. And I'm like, oh, shit. So it the fact start that other people have brought it up. I, I figure, you know, I've said enough, right? Yeah, man. They yeah, man. It's just a reminder. Like you keep people and things around you to remind you of where you came from and, and where you're trying to go. Yeah. And so a lot of the people that motivated me as a youngster that just got next to never Buck Rogers date, but trying to keep my mind outside the gates, all them people that 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 took a liking to me and, and laced me, it's remnants of them that's still in me. Yeah. From way back then, and if that was in a hope or a dream or a vision or a rap circle or experience or a story, whatever it is, it probably might have impacted me a way that has me to where I, the way I am, the way I see shit. Yeah, I, I, that made more sense than anything else because I was about to try to figure out how to explain some shit. But after what you just said right there, I ain't got to say nothing else. You already know. So let me get. So let me switch reels real quick because. I'm about to close it down, but I want to end it with this type of dialogue right here, man. When it's time to clear your thoughts, I'm going to just throw something out there. You throw something back. And, and I think somebody, other people might, might get something out of it. So when it comes to clearing my thoughts, how do you do it? Or when it comes to clearing your thoughts, how do you do it? And be, feel free to answer in the comments, too. So I'm going to take the easy one and say smoking, smoking weed. When it's time to clear my thoughts... I know that for this moment right here, I'm going to be sitting still and I'm going to be able to think. And if I don't have a, a phone in my hand, that's even more of a chance for me to get in touch with my own thoughts. So smoking. Devo, it's on you. Uh, man, that's kind of, I don't know. I've been on plenty of journeys in life and been hella thoughtful about a lot of stuff once I learned to be so. That's a deep question. That's that's a personal question. Um, well, what I'm gonna say is, I would I would answer that, but it's either gonna give great hope or it's gonna decimate people's fucking energy for the future. So I, I'll rather to pass. Okay, so I'm gonna say that because you are a deep thinker, and sometimes you never know what page dirty is on. I'm gonna say that you kind of just overshot the runway, like come back a little bit and then look at it. Cause it's simple answers, like, but cause the what you just said means all traveling, right. All right. like, all right. like, like traveling. All well, right. you, well, you answered that traveling. You said well, okay. go on journeys. Glad you said that. We say come back, make it simple. Okay, so 
So when it comes to clearing your mind, some bullshit, whatever, my thing is what I was going to say, get away. Just get away from whatever the fuck is making you feel that way. Just get away from that shit. And it all takes a little bit of time before you get your shit back in balance. And then you can handle it better than you did before. That's the simple answer. Okay. So then I, that's a good one. That's a good one. Get away. So example of that, what I do is if I, if I like say I'm doing YouTube and I see it's like it's bleeding into me. What I do is I subscribe from the whole everything so then I can see stuff clearly. So it's space. You're just giving yourself space. You might resubscribe, but you need space, though, so you can clear your mind and see shit. So I agree with that. I like that one. I'm going to add in eating. Eating is how I clear how, how I clear my mind. It's I'm not going to say it's good or bad or whatever, but cooking and eating, the whole little process of it, is like a is like clearing your mind. Ten out of ten. Tax free. Say smoking and hiking. That's a combination of what me, what you and I said. So now we got to get dirty because we, we we didn't got all the easy ones out the way. I'm gonna say gambling. Gambling clears your mind, or does it? Or does it make your mind just focus on something else entirely? Because at that moment, it's only about winning or losing. So now we're talking about the bad way of dealing with shit. But it's a good way to get rid of your fucking thoughts and shit. What yeah. Problems? Okay, in that case for me, 100 proof vodka and a fucking couple mushrooms and go wherever the fuck it takes me. Yeah, see, so that's not bad. That's because this is about your way that you clear your mind. And you and then, that, I, I end up playing pool at the bar, and believe it or not, the more fucked up I am are some of the best nights I've had on that fucking table. Mm-hmm. I could say that back back when I used to abuse things, like that was how I cleared my mind. That was my reset right there. That was a way that I could get away. Like I could take a trip. And not worry about nothing and nobody but myself and my thoughts. So that was a reset. So that was how I cleared myself. And they used to be like, why dirt ain't going outside? Why dirt ain't going outside? Because I ain't worried about none of y'all right now. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So that's a good one. He, cut, he said a cup of mushrooms. <laughs> okay, so I got another one. Fellowship. Like sometimes cleaning your thoughts and how, like getting away or whatever, sometimes you actually need fellowship. But it might not necessarily be the fellowship that you've been used to. You might need to fellowship with total strangers. And then when you do that, you realize that, man, my problems ain't so bad. Or because I think the goal is to not to have, not to have to think about your own whatever's going on with you right now. That's how you get away and clear your thoughts by not having to focus on them and paying attention to things that you was missing. It's kind of hard after this one, huh, D-Bo? A little bit. I'm more tripping on. I didn't know I was an uh, uninvited, invited guest today, but okay. Oh, no, you are, man, you 100% invited. That every, every time you ever in your life, in your existence of this, you was never an uninvited guest ever. It was always in your mind. Hey, I'm just saying I didn't know this shit was going to happen today, that's all. Oh, you just got caught off surprise. No, okay. you, yeah, you haven't been live for a while, so seeing you pop up was a surprise, man. So do you remember what I said about that hallway? Uh, Yeah, definitely. Life is a hallway, and you people be walking down, and you, you pick your head in this room, this room, this room, and then when you pick your head in the right room, you might like it a little bit. But the goal is to step in that motherfucker, bust a you know, bust a cha cha or two step or something, and and moonwalk back out that motherfucker if it's not your type of room, and keep going down that hallway because if that door closed, you might not even got the key to get out, and you're gonna be stuck in that motherfucker. So you gotta figure out ways to slip that shit and keep going because what happens when that door closes is you lose your individuality. And that's not what you ever want to do in life is give that type of power up over yourself. Yeah, I think that that everyone can put themselves in that box where that door was closing behind them and about to get locked. And everyone, it's a different amount of time how long it take them to get out of that fucking room. But I think it's happened to everyone in their own way. Yeah, hell yeah. 
but but like you said, it's, it's wisdom. You have to be old to actually make it to that point to recognize what the hell is happening. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you know, you walk in that room, don't even look back. You you don't even look for the exit or the fire <laughs> escape or nothing. You just walk right in there. With you. <laughs> you don't give a damn about nothing. Now Man, you that... put your back to the door. You see who's working. Why does sound like some? Why does sound like like this analogy is like some puff daddy shit? <laughs> Uh, I don't like that. That don't sound good to me. Because <laughs> I, I was just thinking about, like, just thinking of motherfuckers going and kicking it with Puff. And they said, like, the door is closed. Bloop. <laughs> yeah. was... uh, I, think, I think I'm about to leave this chat. I'll be in the comments. Fuck that. <laughs> nah, no, you're going too deep. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Take that. Take that. No, I'm saying pull, pull back. But no, nah, it ain't that deep. But I'm just saying, I said life was like like that, though. You don't want to get stuck. That's the only thing I was saying, like, man. And so when you realize you're there, like, how do you pull out? And, or, and that involves clearing your mind and how to do it. That's what it was all about. Like, I, But I feel you, though, like, if it was going that way, nah, nah, uh, we not, we on some other shit. We on some progressive thinking growth shit. Like, I want to tap into, like, man, I don't know who this is. H-Town Travis Boys. Hey, yeah, this ain't that type of live, bro. But, but, but uh, yeah, man, what's good? What's good? All right, well, it's not good. All right, man, so I've been on here one minute, 36 seconds, and that was, okay, so, Dave Bowles, what's your, what, what do you think, like, what do you think that uh that you would gain from this show like the most? Like every, we didn't talk about. I don't know if you realize, but we talked about a lot of shit today. Like what are the things that stand out? Because that's what I want to get on, man. When I'm able to come on lives and talk about substance, that's the stuff that that's motivating. Where a motherfucker want to keep on coming back because I realize my errors and my ways. But this is what I'm familiar with. Just kicking it and chopping it up with the homies and really talking about real lives. Shout out tax free, but real live and shit. Cause that was the thing when I said fellowship about clearing thoughts. Guess what? Fellowship with y'all helped me clear my motherfucking thoughts. Cause now I can see you. Like I can see my vision a little bit better. I can see where I come, where I came from and, the, and know where I'm going versus drowning. And and the drought, getting lost in, in in the motherfucking mud, and getting lost in the quicksand, getting lost in the salt. Like I'm not trying to do none of that. I am an individual that came from a struggle that cannot be matched, and that's what we all got to think know about ourselves. We are all individuals that came from struggles that cannot be matched. So your struggle is no different from mine. Mine is no different from yours. So with that, I'm about to get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all very much. Everybody that came through, D Bo, man, good looking out on coming through, man. Drina's Haven, baby. Thank you for coming through. Stanley, man, I thought you, hey, Stanley, I thought you was going to hit the panel. I really did. Bare face, man. Good looking on coming through. Pizza, like you said. Moonbeam, if that nose is cut off, I'm about to check it out, man. I'm about to see. PNG, man, I didn't even see you, man. My bad, PNG. Wolf, man, thank you for coming through and blazing, too. Young, man, shit, why you didn't hit the thing? Troops, man, my bad. I ain't even, man, look, my bad, Troops. Shout out Indica for that in for that super chat right there. Mm-hmm. Who else I see? Stanley Depot, Depot, in the, in the cut, in the corrupt, corrupt man. I see you got a membership, man. Good looking on coming through. Katniss Everton, I appreciate that super chat. Yes, ma'am. Who else? Who else did I miss? See, I'll be looking for new people, man. I want to make sure y'all are welcome and y'all know, like, you welcome to come up in here, man. But I love it though. This is all dirty nation is. I'm trying to see if everybody got their wrench that's supposed to have their wrench too. Uh, Debo, Katniss, I, shoot, the super the one super chat need the ones they need wrenches. Shit. Yeah. So this is all dirty nation, man. That's that's the motherfucking live I'm talking about. I appreciate y'all, man, and everybody that's not, man. Keep coming through, man. Show your love to me. I'm trying to pull up. Got to download the app. Yeah. Now nah, I'm about to get up out of here. Dirty well, I really enjoy listening to you on your panel. 
You don't need that salute for me. <laughs> hey, nah, man, it's all good, man. The thing about it is, like I say, man, if you spend a lot of time talking about bullshit, then you're gonna get a, you're gonna get away from the real the elements that really made you you. If you spoil spewing nothingness and you got uh, uh, content and realness all inside you and don't need nobody, then why are you gonna downgrade your worth and you know your potential because you showed it and proved it time and time again? Why water yourself down? Shit, give me the real. All right, man. Well, let me get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Dirty weather.